we can sort data in a table. And that's what we're going to look at next. You can see I've got a table of data, very simple data, just to show the effect really. So colours down the left hand side and the quantity of colours down the right hand side, perhaps it's tins of paint. Um, and we've got some row title, uh, sorry, column titles here. So we've got the table selected. We don't have to physically select the table, just make sure we've got something clicked on, on, on the table there. And then we're using the table menu and down to sort. And then we get the sort dialog box. You can see that it's picked up my column titles, colour and quantity there. And that's because we've got this radio button at the bottom selected header row. This is telling the computer that we have our first row designated as titles. If we haven't, and we want to use our first row within the sort, then we click on no header row. But then the word colour will be, for example, in that first column, the word colour will be sorted in amongst all the others. Now that's clearly not we want, not what we want for this particular feature. So we tell the computer we've got a header row. So we're sorting by colour on text in ascending or descending order. Let's choose descending and OK. And there you can see the effect. Colour uh, as a title has remained at the top as its quantity. And then it's sorted the remaining uh, rows in ascend descending order of colour. White, red, green, etc. That's just sorting on the one column, but we can sort with the quantity as well. So let's look at that again. Again, we've got the table selected. So we do table, sort, sorting by colour. Let's change it to ascending order this time, just so we can see the difference. Then by quantity. So we're choosing another column there. So after we've sorted by colour, then sort by quantity. And it already knows its number. Let's sort it in ascending order of quantity, leave our header rows on, and OK. And hopefully what you can see there, it's sorted the colours together, and then within brown, it's sorted the quantity, one, two, three, four in ascending order, and five. Then it's sorted all the greens together, and within green, it's sorted greens numbers in ascending order. Just to show uh, an effect why you've got to be careful with this, I'm going to add another row to the bottom of my table. Uh, perhaps it's a total row, and I've put my total in there. That's not the correct figure, but it'll do to show the effect. So with the total row at the bottom, we can select the individual rows that we want to sort. So we don't have to select the whole table. And then we can do table, sort, this time we're sorting by column one. That is the colour column, but we're not picking up the header row. So we're sorting by column one by text, then column two by number, and then we click on, let's just change those to see the effect, and then OK. And we can see now that our colours have sorted, but we've left the total row at the bottom. We don't have to have our text in a table to sort it, we can work on ordinary paragraphs. I've got two paragraphs of text sorted out here, just to show the effect. I've put a number two at the front and a number one um, at the front of this paragraph, and I've got some paragraph spacing just to make it easy to determine the two paragraphs. If I select those two paragraphs, again, I, we're working on paragraphs, so I don't have to select the whole thing. I can do, but I don't need to. Still go work on, ta on table menu and down to sort. This time the computer's picked up that we're not in a table, that we actually want to sort by paragraphs. Let's change that to number because we've got a number at the beginning. If we didn't, it would do it in alphabetical order. And let's sort it in ascending order. And then OK. And it sorted our paragraphs into ascending order based on the initial character of the paragraph. So that's sorting.